tonight, the biggest condemnation yet of a state lawmaker accused of sexually harassing 10 women. Governor Hickenlooper has weighed in on the controversy that's rocked the Capitol. He thinks Steve Labsock should resign. The governor's comments come hours after a tearful Labsock claimed he's really the victim and has no plans to resign. Sam Bush has been the only Denver reporter to talk with the governor at a town hall event in Pueblo tonight. And Stan, seems like almost every party leader wants Labsock to vacate his seat. Karen, a number of Democrats have already said that Lebsock needs to resign. This evening, the governor was speaking at a town hall on constituent issues here in Pueblo and afterwards added his name to that growing list that want Lebsock out. Do you believe it's appropriate for him to step down from his seat? Well, certainly at the, at the, at, at what it appears that he's agreeing happened and he in some cases said he doesn't remember what he said or what he did. But if that is what he said, then he should, probably should resign. Governor Hickenlooper says there's no love lost between him and Steve Lebsock. And but the governor says that, he still wants to hear um, Lebsock's side of the incident in 2016 with him and Representative Faith Winter. Though with at least 10 women accusing Lebsock of sexual harassment, he says the representative can't do his job. And you lose credibility and you lose your capacity to lead at a certain point. There's been no sexual harassment. There's been no sexual harassment, and I have done nothing criminal. Speaking to reporters for the first time, Lebsock addressed the controversy, questioning some of his accusers' accounts of his behavior and saying he and colleagues often spoke about sex. And we can talk about it openly, about um, sexual harassment, about feelings, about how men may perceive things different than, than women. At times tearful, Lebsock said he's become a victim, with an avalanche of calls for him to resign, taking some threats to state I've patrol. He says he's now being denied due process. I also believe in telling the truth, and we're going to get down to the bottom of it. Representative Lebsock says at this point he is not resigning from the state legislature and not ending his campaign to be state treasurer, though a final decision may come at a press conference he is holding on November 30th. We're live tonight in Pueblo. Stan Bush covering Colorado first.